Hi, Wendy Hinman here bringing you the Daily Hope from Deuteronomy 28. And I want to read the first couple verses. It says, If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands I give you today, the Lord your God will set you on high above all the nations of, on earth. All these blessings will come on you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. And because it's a daily hope, I want to start with the dark side. And then we'll come back to blessing and to obedience. But in this chapter, there are 14 verses of blessing. And then the rest, up to 68 verses, is all curses that come upon anyone who disobeys God. And our good friend Jill Briscoe, when she's sharing the gospel with people, she said, there is a hell to avoid, a heaven to gain, and a savior to take you there. And, and these verses reminded me of that simple introduction to the gospel. God has big plans for Israel. He's made a covenant with them, a treaty. Actually, in the ancient times, when people would make treaties, kingdoms would make uh, treaties with each other, this is what they do. This is the blessing. This is what's promised. This is what will happen. And these are the curses that will come down if you break them. And so that's what Moses is giving Israel here. And in these curses, if you read all 68 verses, some of these curses are unspeakable. They're horrible, awful. But you also see as you read them that we create our own hell. When we turn our back on God, when we avoid him, when we go our own way, C.S. Lewis said that heaven is when we finally get to that place where we align our will with his and we say, not my will, but yours be done. But he said, hell is when, we, when God says to us, okay, all right, have it your way, not my will, yours be done. And then the curses come and we've created a hell for ourselves. Moses doesn't want that for his people. And he wants them to remember, you're a special people, you're chosen, you're called out. And I want to bless the world through you, the whole world. But I want to bless you personally too. Because then the blessings are like, you'll be blessed in the city, you'll be blessed in the country, you'll be blessed... Your gardens will flourish. Your livestock will flourish. You're, you're going out. You're coming in. Your bread basket will be full. Personally, nationally, he's wanting the people of God to understand that when we obey, he's bringing us in. He's bringing us in and he's blessing us. And sometimes I think as believers, we forget also when we're sharing the gospel we'll say jesus died on the cross for your sins so you can be forgiven yes he did yes and amen but he also rose again so that we now have power over sin through his blood that we might obey him when we couldn't before let me pray a quick prayer for our church heavenly father i pray that we would be a people of obedience, leaving behind the Egypt of this world and going into the promised land obediently, full of blessing. Father, I pray for those who don't have bread that you'd get them bread. For those who have gardens that they would flourish. For those in the city that they would be blessed. For those in the country that they would be blessed. Father, remember that we are your people. And we want to reveal who you are to the world. We thank you that in Jesus Christ, we have that ability and that power through your Holy Spirit. So come on us, come on us, and help us to live that out in the world. Lord bless you, church.